Hey, it's Matt. Welcome back to another tool haul video. I got a good one for you here today. I picked up this toolbox and its contents off of Facebook Marketplace. And I just read the title, told the guy I'd come and get them. The price was right. I didn't even look at them when I got there. I just handed him the money, grabbed the box, and got out of there. And what I found when I got home was awesome. So let's just first take a look at this toolbox. And then we'll take a look at uh, some of the stuff we got inside it. Um, this thing is a pretty big toolbox. Uh, you got 21 inches. I think it was seven and a half. About seven and a half tall. About nine nine inches wide. Um, pretty hefty. It has these nice little corner guards on there, but uh, it's uh, it's pretty rusty. It's pretty bad shape. Looks like it used to be like some kind of OD green. Don't know if that's the original paint or not. No markings on here. Probably was a tray in there. Let's see how this one smells. Uh, it doesn't smell that bad. It smells like tools or... It smells like wet metal. Wet metal and wet leather. That's what it smells like. It doesn't smell bad, actually, for once. I think I'm going to not try to get that smell out of there. It's, uh, I think it's fine. It is suitable. So, alright. Enough about that. Let's take a look at what we have inside of here and you're gonna like it all right here are all of the wrenches that were in there and don't worry I got another part to this I got the socket so and that's what the really good stuff is but there's some good stuff in here too so like the guy said in the ad he said there was some old stuff in there and he said some of the sockets are snap-on so give you a little hint of what's to come but what we got here are just some older 20s, maybe some 30s wrenches in here. There might be a couple that are older than that, but mainly here some have some 20s and 30s wrenches. Uh, over there have some no-namers. Some of them say made in the USA on them, uh, but just your standard uh, opened-end wrenches of that time period. Uh, some stamped wrenches, stamped steel wrenches. Uh, we have some international harvester wrenches so this little curved one there and that's a stack of three of them there those are international harvester these wrenches are all the same and they have this 379 panel on them so I don't know what that means if anybody else out there knows can identify that write it down in the comments section so three of those exact same wrenches. These two stacks are Velcheck. These are all Fairmount. I like this little uh, starter wrench. Seventies three quarter. I like that thing. I'm gonna hang on to that. Uh, both of these are Fairmount as well. Um, these don't have any names on them. This is kind of an interesting little, you know, like a collar. Tighten down. Maybe something for plumbing or something. I don't know. Um, little T handled, nothing, nothing, nothing special. But uh, just no names on any of this stuff. This is kind of cool. Little fork looking tool. Then we have this. I, don't know, I think this is like a valve wrench, um, valve handle. You know, it's got a square drive on it, and you can close the the valve. Probably something like that. I like that. That's cool. We have a Barcalo combination wrench. The only combination wrench that was in here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this one is a Herbrand. And that was pretty cool. I like this little weird wrench. It almost looks like, you know, your cast iron little skillet handle or something and it's uh, a wrench so I dig that thing there uh, all of these here are Williams a couple of pretty old ones in here this one's in pretty good shape I like that, uh, that little S wrench there little kind of stubby S wrench um, this wrench is pretty cool six point box wrench you can barely barely see the Williams on there but I thought that wrench was pretty cool. S wrench, a big stack of 
open end wrenches. Uh, this wrench is pretty crude. I would imagine this is pretty old. I think it says S, M, and S. You can barely see it in there. It says it on both sides. So I haven't done some res any research on this, so I'll have to look into that. It looks uh, just really raw. I like that one. Uh, these two stamped wrenches here. Oh, I forget what they are. Something in Reed. Harris and Reed Manufacturing Co. Um, I don't know, those are interesting. At least they have a, a name on them. And then just a no-name pair of pliers. I don't know if this is like some sort of hub wrench. The guy had some, uh, I think he had some Model A's in his garage. So I... I don't know what that wrench if that has something to do with that but my favorite wrench what I really look for like if I'm collecting what I'm collecting is stuff from my area and that's southeastern Wisconsin so I like Blackhawk and old Snap-on and old Husky and Milwaukee Tool and Forge and that's what we have right here I believe we have an MTF inch and a sixteenth 15 sixteenths and that's what I look for that's what I like just because it's from my area it was made around here and that's what I like to see when I'm buying tools to find something to collect so that is my favorite wrench out of all of these and I like that one what do you like what do you say enough rambling you want to see what sockets I got do ya do ya you're gonna love this Let's get to it. Well, 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 what do we have here? This is what dreams are made of. We have some really old snap-on stuff here. How old? Let's take a look here. First, let's get this big hex key out of the way. And this thing is big. I don't know what size it is. Is it half inch? Something like that. I don't know. There's no size on it anywhere. There's no maker mark on it anywhere. But it is big. It is hefty. 15 inches long. Jeez, I like that thing. All right, what else? Let's get this thing out of the way here. This is kind of an oddball thing. I don't know when this is from. I probably could figure it out just by the, the font. Um, there's no date number on it, but, you know, it's a snap-on half-inch little weird kind of thing. It's the same size on each side, so I don't know what, you know, why. Why, I don't know. I'm not going to try to understand it. Anyway, let's talk about... The good stuff here these big sockets back here and uh i saw these in the picture and they were kind of just a top view of them i couldn't see the knurling on the side but i saw that they were six point and that they were you know kind of a little rusty and looked pretty old so i i guessed that the they were of this era and uh i was correct when i got there i didn't even look in the toolbox i just handed the guy the money and i got out of there and uh yeah, I'm glad I did, because I would have felt pretty bad for what I paid for these. So, when I got home, I was pretty excited. So, let's see what we have here. I'm going to quit rambling. We have some really old snap-on sockets, and uh, these are just awesome. Inch and a half, and these are from 1927. Look at that. They are in excellent shape. And these are not half inch drive. These are 5 ace drive. All of the ones in the back here are 5 ace drive. They're all in really good shape. I think this one has the most wear on it. But otherwise, just excellent. 1927. Got a set of square drive. I think these are half inch, uh, half inch drive, square drive sockets. And I think these say seven. There's a couple of them that said eight on them in here, I think. That one's from uh, 27. That one's from 27. So, and this one's like half inch to half inch. This might be a coupler. That one's got a seven on it. You know, it might not be a square drive socket. It might be a coupler for, you know, like an extension. They used to do that back in the day. It would just have, you know, a bunch of square drives and couplers to attach them together. But... I'll put it with that. You know, it doesn't have the knurling, so that's why I don't think it is. But 
Either way, all right. So we got those in half inch drive. Got these two half inch drive sockets, and these are interesting. Let's take a close look at these. So I was hoping that these sockets would be the old, old snap ons, the S over O logo. And I'll show you that in a second. But they were all these, you know. So I think we got a 7A socket here. And that one's from 1927. It has a 7 on it. You know, it says snap on written out on it. If it were an S over O, it would have the size written sideways like this. And it would have an S over O logo exactly the opposite of that 7 eighths. So it would be right about here. And uh, I don't know if you can see that line down there, that circle. I think this one was an S over O. So this would be 1926 or earlier, one of the first first runs of Snap-on sockets. So that is pretty cool. So I got one that belongs to, you know, whatever this year set, but this one, I'm going to go ahead and say that this is an S over O earlier socket. And let me show you an example of what that would look like. And this is just a socket that I've had for a while. And that is an old S over O socket, 25, 30 seconds. And uh, that's what it should look like right in that region there. And I don't know, every every once in a while I look at it, I catch the right light and I, I kind of see a circle. And this one is kind of, the O is kind of small on this one. Let me show you another one. This one is like the S is a lot bigger. It's a little bit different. And another really interesting socket that I have, it is a 7 ace. And it says 7 ace on it. It says 7 ace a bunch of times on it. And it doesn't say S over O on it anywhere. And it's in fairly decent shape. I think I would be able to read it. It wouldn't it doesn't look like it would have been worn off. So I think this is a really early snap-on socket uh, before they even put the S over O on it. And I think that one, I think I got one. I think I did it. I think I struck the gold in this lot. So I'm, I'm going to say that's an S over O. Let's just all agree on that, right? Yep. Okay, cool. We got an adapter here. And this is a half inch to five ace adapter. So if I wanted to, I could use those sockets. That is sweet. We'll talk about this little adapter over here last, I think. Um, these extensions, these are snap-on. And they are a 7. I don't know if I can see it on that one. The other one, I think I can see the 7 on it. But just, you know, this is just like a square drive socket with a shaft driven into it. So, yeah, awesome, awesome extensions. I don't know how rare these are. There's the seven on that one. All from the same era, era. just awesome, just amazing. This is a snap-on. I don't know why I can't get it in there. There we go. Barely see that seven over there. So little seven, these speed wrenches, snap on, snap on with a seven. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this. Just awesome. All right, what did I not talk about? These two here, these are, uh, I haven't identified these. They're hex drive. Um, one's a 12 point, one's a six point. I'll have to do more uh, more looking into these. Um, don't know. Not really going to speculate. No clue. All right. Last but not least, that adapter right there. And again, this is what I look for, the stuff that's kind of hard to find. And if you can see it right there, 
thought this was going to be a snap-on since everything else was snap-on in here but this is a Milwaukee tool and forge you can barely see the M the T and the F Milwaukee tool and forge uh, three-quarter to half inch so awesome I'm gonna add this to my local area collection uh, of tools awesome I'm excited guess how much I paid for this guess did you guess what do you think I paid one zero that's it ten dollars for all of this stuff the toolbox the wrenches the socket set ten dollars I think I did pretty good finally it's looking millhouse for me thanks for watching everybody like subscribe hopefully I have more like this to come have a good one